Hey Pisces, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is your two week reading. You guys, uh, thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing last week. You guys really earned your seat in getting weekly readings, which Pisces don't normally get weekly readings on this channel, only because I don't have a lot of Pisces subscribers. So I'm so happy for all the new subscribers. Almost all of them were Pisces. Thank you for being here, guys. I appreciate you. All right, let's do it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for Pisces. What do we need to know for the next two weeks? What's most important? What does Pisces need to know for the next two weeks? What do we need to know? What do we need to focus on? All right, keep in mind that my readings are predictive. So if you don't know what this is, all the more reason to pay close attention. Um, my readings anything could come out during my readings right up to the last second different storylines different messages for different people and even after i click off sometimes i come back on with a message that i get i don't know what it is but sometimes i get a message immediately after i click off so if you guys can hang till the end and even a few seconds beyond it might do you good there could be um random messages for different people even up to that last second like i said okay so let's do this first we're going to just look at where we're coming from with the before tarot spirit and angels anyone for the highest good for pisces or anyone else who's guided to see the pisces reading nine of wands the wounded warrior so you've had to go up against the beast all right so let's take a look at this at the bottom you have the what is this seven of wands all right, look at that. This is amazing. So you've got, you know, where you went into protection mode. Look at that. Nine of wands and seven of wands. Nine of wands, you fought the beast. And for me, the nine of wands wins. They are the wounded warrior, but they don't back down. Seven of wands said you did it through your sheer will and your prayer, uh, calling on your guides. Whatever you did to protect yourself, you did it. Um, and I feel like, let me look at this four of pentacles reversed. All right. So this, um, if you, if you look closely in this deck, it's before the miser received their pentacles. So this has something to do with the person that's receiving these pentacles, but it's in reverse. So you might have fought yourself in, uh, it could have been a financial situation or something else with someone who just wanted to take, right? and we've got the wheel of fortune beautiful so you've landed yourself in a brand new cycle and that's obvious because you've got nine and ten so uh great energy really so whatever this is it really has to do with you moving into this new cycle the eight of wands is at the bottom you also have the five of pentacles reverse at the bottom which has to do with this um four of pentacles there in reverse excellent energy i feel like you're really wands moving into this really great new energy um let's pull you some um after tarot i mean i'm sorry not after tarot this was before tarot though and this is after tarot over here which we're going to try to get to today as well so let's do the vice versa tarot where the side you see will be the side i read okay spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know here please for this pisces reading what are the messages pisces reading for the week or i'm sorry for the next two weeks pisces reading i don't normally do two week readings it's just for the rest of the summer and into the fall that we're doing this because of my schedule so normally it's every week on this channel but for now spirit and angels anyone for the highest good for the next two weeks for pisces for anyone with Pisces placements or anyone else who's guided to see the Pisces reading for whatever reason they've been guided here and need this reading. All right, let's do it. What do we need to know? What do we need to focus on? What are the messages? Look at that temperance. All right, so we've got the King of Cups reverse, Two of Pentacles and Temperance. Let's get a few more cards here. Here it is, landed on the top of my hand. Okay, I'm gonna make these just slightly bigger because these are two week readings and we got those four, these four, and we're gonna do four more. Can we get a few more cards here, please? Look at that, Knight of Cups. This is really nice energy coming through for you guys. So you've got the, yeah, look at decision being made right here, two of pentacles and two of swords. 
um, divinely guided. You got Archangel Michael involved. You're receiving information with that moon up there with the, that eclipse. Can I get a couple more? Beautiful. Look at this. Wow. All right. Look at this energy you have. Okay. Bottom of the deck, six of pentacles and a decision that needs to be made with the uh, seven of cups. So decision, decision, decision. It's everywhere. Um, and the six of pentacles in this deck is all about someone who's trying to figure out where to invest, where they belong. If you look at the other side, this person feels like they don't belong in that town. You know, feeling out of place, not feeling, feeling out of sorts, not feeling in balance, right? But this one has everything to do with a decision that's going to be made about where to find your balance, where to invest yourself, what direction to go in. Um, after, you know, like we said, before these came out, this happened where you had to defend yourself or you felt like you had to block or again, it really looks like you defended yourself in something. And this new cycle has just arrived in your life. And you're like, okay, now where am I going to invest? And look at how we have the King of Cups. It's most likely your energy as a Pisces, but it could be someone else. But see, they've got their cup in hand and they're looking right out in the same way the Six of Pentacles is. Where am I going to put this cup? Where am I going to invest? Where are my Pentacles and my cup going to go now? Because I'm making different decisions because I went through this and now I'm in a new cycle. It is a divinely guided cycle. But in this cycle, I have to make a decision. I might have to make multiple decisions. Now, I love the fact that your two of swords is not like this anymore, where it's like, I don't know what to do. I'm blindfolded. I'm bound. I'm so confused. I've got, you know, a storm going on around me. No, this one knows what to do now. You've already thought about this. You've already been through. The struggle was real, but now it's like subsiding. And look at how you don't really realize it because you're busy juggling all these balls in the air, trying to figure out what to do, making decisions in your life, enjoying your new cycle. And look right out there, right behind you is the ship coming in. Meaning while you've been busy or contemplating or deciding or whatever you're doing, you might not even realize your ship's coming in. Or if you do, you might now have to decide what to do when it pulls up. Do I get on it? Is that where I'm going to invest? This is a decision I have to make. And we've got guidance from Archangel Michael here. And this is also a lot of balance coming in. you got Six of Pentacles balance. You've got Temperance balance. You've got this information coming down. See how it's coming? I'm trying to block the... Because she's not dressed. <laughs> uh You've, you've got this information coming in straight from spirit. You know, um, this really is divine guidance. If you, And you're a Pisces. Of course, you're listening to your intuition and you're hearing it loud and clear. And I want you to look at the bottom of your deck. It's almost mind-blowing. Knight of Cups. Knave of Cups. In this deck, they have knaves. They're adult energies. They're not children energies like pages. So we've got Knight of Cups, we've got Knave of Cups, and we have Ace of Cups. And I want you to look closely at this Ace of Cups because in the Vice Versa Tarot, there's a lot of cards that I call two for one cards. And I call them two for one cards because this is the regular Ace of Cups. But if you look very closely, the Knight of Cups is back there coming in in the dark, sneaking in with that cup in hand, right? You're going to have to make a decision here. And, and now this doesn't, that's not like you're going to have to make a decision. This is really great energy, Pisces. It is something's going to come in. It's going to come in probably quickly. Um, it's going to basically land in your lap and you're going to have to make a decision on what to do about it. And all of a sudden you go from stagnancy of the four of swords. See how this person's like, you know, they're, they're cocooning, right? to going into the unknown in the six of swords th these people get in the boat and they go into the unknown they don't know how it's going to work out but see how she grabs the cup and goes okay let's do it and it has to do with that ace of cups that's way back there and it's coming in on a lotus flower beautiful this is actually the ten of cups but it's the opposite side it's the non-traditional side these cards have a traditional side and a non-traditional side this Ace of Cups is going to come in 
kind of when you're least expecting it and you're going to have to make a decision whether you're going to go into the unknown with this person who gives it to you or are you the one offering it it's very possible they are all cups these all could be pisces energy right so you'll know whether you're going to be offering or whether you're going to be receiving if you're not planning on offering anything to anyone then be prepared pisces remember my readings are predictive this offer could come in now if you're already with this person there could be a proposal there could be if you guys are already married there could be this opportunity for you guys to do something really great to rekindle that romance to have a second honeymoon to go on a vacation to do something together that'll be maybe go on a cruise that'd be so cool so anyway let's grab you some after tarot and see where this goes next for you all right let's take a look at it so we know there's a decision being made here so let's take a peek at it and see what this is about so you've got the you know seven of cups the two of swords and the two of pentacles and it's really great energy because we can see that this decision is about something really good coming in for you all right let's see about the decision two of swords two of pentacles and seven of cups what do we need to know here wow again i'm telling you this could come in all of a sudden all of a sudden out of nowhere this offer comes into you or you go in with it and this offer is all about judgment this is going to be a decision that you have to make that's at the bottom and also at the bottom you have the ten of wands and the ten of pentacles what all right a lot of this has is coming in on the tail of this old cycle um so this really has to do and when you look closely at this they're holding their ace of wands in their hand the ten of wands is something you've already done you've already completed your tens now you're at your aces and when you look closely that little uh what well, looks like a child but that person it looks like a child is holding their ace of pentacles these in the after tarot we're already talking about aces coming in ace of pentacles ace ace of wands ace of cups all coming in for you as your new beginning after completing this old cycle so what's really happening here is as you end this old cycle that was a struggle you're going into a new cycle that's filled with new opportunity and it looks to me like um, opportunity well it's very very positive lots of cups of happiness here see cups for me aren't always romance if you're thinking but i'm not looking for romance well sometimes we're not looking for romance and that's the time when the love of our life walks in right this happens um, but also it's happiness cups are joy to me they're happiness they're your cup spilling over with joy and happiness even if it's not with another person um, maybe it's with lots of other people your friends your loved ones your family and just enjoying your life with your kids and your you know significant other if you have one already all right so let's take a look here we're talking about this king of cups here uh, looking out to the universe just like the six of pentacles trying to figure out where they're going to invest tell me about the king of cups what's next here whoa okay they fell right out but look at that the four of pentacles right there and just like that one it's in the reverse because these cards are the next step there's your ten of cups i mean your yeah your ten of cups which is virtually your ace of cups remember after tarot is all about the next step and six of wands the joy the victory here um no more holding back i'm not holding back if somebody has been holding back how they feel they're going to come forward and they're going to tell you if you've been holding back how you feel you are going to tell someone and this is all about that wheel turning look at it look i got goosebumps on your reading so nice i mean look at this energy it's gorgeous let's keep going here what else do we need to know here lots of information coming in straight from spirit you got archangel gabriel archangel michael you got the eclipse feeding your mind tell me about um temperance and the moon here Pisces reading the page of wands and look at the bottom the ace of wands again this is all about your new beginning coming in for you yes you're going to go into the unknown six of swords but why because anything that was in the past that was a struggle is left behind this is you accepting new opportunities and listening to where you're being guided and these guides are guiding you towards something that you don't know 
but you're willing to risk it to find out beautiful look at the six of swords when you accept this new beginning here you're leaving behind the past but you're you're arriving these people already arrived at the peaceful place so when we saw that card earlier that said hey we're going into the unknown we don't really know where, where we're going but it's you know something we're willing to try right and it's like we got to the ten of cups and now we're starting over ace of cups ace of wands ace of, ace of everything you've had so far except swords so this is the opportunity to head into this new thing no longer holding back I want the victory. I want to succeed in the new cycle. Let's look at the, um, I want to look at the Knight of Cups and the Knave of Cups together. Can we look at the Knight of Cups, Knave of Cups, and Ace of Cups, all of them? Tell me about the Knight of Cups, Knave of Cups, and Ace of Cups here. Beautiful energy of this new happiness and joy coming in. The Knight of Cups again gets knight of cups twice knave of cups and ace of cups here what do we need to know please cups 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 your cup runneth over pisces wow yeah it's all about that balance it's all about what you know you need to do the decision you're gonna make in your life that brings this balance 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 it's everywhere and you're being called this is your intuition telling you what to invest in. What is your in intuition telling you? If this offer comes at you, are you going to know what to do? Yes, because your intuition is going to tell you. You're going to know whether you're going to go into the unknown with a particular person or whether you're inviting someone to go into the unknown with you. It's such a great energy or it's just you and your person. So a lot of you are going to say, but I'm already with somebody. You and your person dis making decisions in your life together to go into the unknown, to try new things, to invest in each other is still this love and happiness that's coming in. And it's so, this is great energy. It truly is. I love this energy coming in for you. New opportunities, new beginnings everywhere. And all of it has to do with allowing yourself, like I'm going to release whatever's held me back. Whatever has been the struggle, whatever has been on my mind, whatever this is, I'm going to make decisions and I'm going to just do it. I'm going to listen to where spirit's guiding me. I mean, it's everywhere. It truly is everywhere. Even the two of swords makes decisions based off their intuition. They have to because they're blindfolded and they have no idea what's going to happen when they make these decisions. You're making the decision and it might come out of the blue. And if this is not you, it's someone else. And it's going to come in divinely guided the entire way. So no matter what happens here, somebody is going to listen to their intuition and they're going to make th these moves forward. This could be a Sagittarius Scorpio cusper for some of you, or it's you. Um, now keep in mind, these don't have to be the signs, but they're coming through very strongly. So if this isn't your energy, uh, this Sagittarius, Scor Sagittarius and Scorpio energy that's coming through, it could be someone around you, even if it's their moon sign or their Mars sign or their Venus, or uh, this could be something that's happening because of this Lion's Gate portal that's coming up. Um, there's a lot of really great energy here, Pisces. Let me know down below if you know what this is and if you want something so awesome to show up in your life or for you to put yourself out there, claim this down below. And so it is. What a great energy. I'm telling you, if you don't know what this is, it could just sneak up on you. So be prepared. And that's why we do tarot so that people know you might suddenly get engaged you might suddenly meet the love of your life. You and your loved one might suddenly decide to do some things together that you never thought you'd do that are going to be really great, really fun. Decisions that you make together are going to be blessed. Beautiful. Let me pull you a couple of angel cards. Angels, what do we need to know? Pisces reading. This is a uh, for the next two weeks. What do we need to know? Pisces. Oh, that's way too many. Can we just get one or two? Pisces from the bottom. Okay. Vision. I saw it trying to come out and it came out. Simplicity and inspiration. All right. So this is a new day dawning, getting inspired. It's going to be way simpler than you think now. Eye on the prize vision. 
Um, for you, it's not the struggle was real, but it's over. Spirits has just released that time because all that's coming in is victory and happiness. Now, just release the things of the past that have been a burden to you and allow these new things to come into your life. It's going to be such a better energy for you. The energy you're going to feel is going to be so much simpler than the last cycle. This new cycle is just, it's boiling over with intervention. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, the High Priestess, the Eclipse bringing in that energy. Um, these are all energies of spirit um, being involved with you and your intuition, accepting the new cycle, listening to where you're being guided, allowing yourself to release and allow yourself to follow your intuition. That's what this reading really is about. Good luck, Pisces. Um, and thank you again, you guys, for being here. And welcome to all the new Pisces subscribers. Um, please don't forget to like this video and keep yourself in the running for weekly videos. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.